Hey guys, how's it going? Um, I went to Mac um, a couple weeks ago and I wanted to upload a video for you. I did get a couple um, lipsticks, a foundation, um, a couple like basic things. Um, since it is getting colder out and I'm not tanning anymore, I definitely don't have my nice golden bronzeness. So I had to revamp a couple of my makeup, especially my foundation and my powder. So um, I got this all in one go um, since I am, was in beauty school. I got 20% off um, my each product I bought. And then I am going to get the professional uh, MAC card and then that will give me 40% off. So that really does help me out. A lot um, buying makeup and things like that but um, let's just uh, get into it um, the first thing I did buy I got a Mac studio fix plus um, liquid foundation you know I love um, full coverage foundations and this one I got in NW25 um, the last foundation that I got was this also last year winter but i got nc 25 and i felt like that was a little too yellow for my skin tone so i did decide um on the nw this year to see if um it would be a little bit nicer i'm not wearing it today this is just um it's garnet um body like blemish cream it's something that i use if i don't want to have a like a lot of makeup on but I definitely you know always do my eyes but um so this is a really really good foundation like I said it's full coverage it doesn't break me out um, some people say it, uh, it does for them but um, I really do enjoy it so huh? and then with foundation um, since I have very oily skin I definitely have to get a powder so I got the Mac um, mineralized Finishing skin powder in uh, light plus. Um, I've only used one of their others, and that was medium plus when I was in the winter. So I'm excited to try this to see if um, if I do enjoy it. It's probably like you know the same thing, just a different color. So and then this is um, the color. And. I'm not wearing this one. I'm wearing my um, just a regular NYX powder today. And then I did get a concealer. I have um, I my first concealer I bought from them was NW25, which is like um, okay, because then that now that's my technically what they matched me as was for all my all over skin tone. Um, and I was using that as a highlight when I was um, tanner. So now I got um, NW20 as um, a concealer to lighten up around my eyes and things like that. So, and I like, I do like this. It's very thick, so I don't, you don't really need a lot. Um, I definitely recommend it if you have uh, dark circles on your eyes. And I get dark circles and I get really puffy, um, especially in the mornings when I wake up. So this definitely really, really helps and I really do like it. And a lot goes a long ways. So you think spending like $20 on this is crazy, but trust me, like I haven't even made a dent in the one I had in the winter. So it's it's a really, really good purchase to, to make. And it helps you to just finish off your face and have like, you know, a flawless glow. Then the next thing I got was at the checkout counter. Um, they have these baby pigments now that are travel size and this is in vanilla and I've always wanted vanilla in the pigment not in the um, the eyeshadow because they're two different ones the one in the eyeshadow isn't as shimmery and I don't think it's as pigmented as um, the the um, pigments in the little bottles so I did get that this was ten dollars um, versus you know like the 21 in the bigger size but you like will never go through a pigment so um i thought ten dollars for this was a really really good deal and then 
Um, my last purchase, of course, I can never leave MAC without um, getting some lipsticks. Um, the first one I got, I wanted more of a neuter pink. Um, so I did go with the Viva Glam 5. Um, this has been in their collection for a long time and I just wanted something different. Um, so it's a little bit deeper, but it's really, really pretty, you guys. Let's see if I can. Put it on for you. And it is a luster. So it's very easy to wear. I mean, for this look with um, the eye makeup that I have on today, it's really, really nude and neutral. And it's really close to um, my natural lip color with just a little bit of shimmer which i really really enjoy so um like i said it's really pretty and i think it's a really good transition from um fall to winter and you kind of you know and it's not something crazy bold like um a lot of the lips are going for these days so i got that and then i went on the mac website and i saw that they had their um Holiday collections out, which I'm not a really big fan of, like their eyeshadows in the um, compacts because I feel like you're spending a lot of money for for eyeshadows and blushes that aren't very pigmented, and so I usually never ever buy them unless um, for some reason there's a big hit about them. But um, these were two. Or this one, sorry. Um, I wanted, this is one of the holiday lipsticks that I did get. Um, I've been really liking Bampy lips. And I have a ton of darker lips and things like that in like my NYX cosmetics. I have tons of drugstore and things like that. But I don't have any high-end, like really rich, like cranberry purpley vampy um, lipsticks so I saw the collection and I got living legend and it's just a gorgeous color you guys there was one other one I wanted but they were all sold out but it's okay so that's the color that is um, living legend it's to me it's gorgeous like it's definitely a color that I definitely wanted and this is um, a uh, matte lipstick so like a ruby rue but i feel like this is a lot um is a lot more moisturizing than uh than ruby rue ruby rue is top notch very very dry but i love it because it's very pigmented and it stays on your lips all day this i feel like has a little bit more creamier texture to it but um they, it is very matte. There's no real sheen to it or anything. But this is a gorgeous color, you guys. I've worn it to work. Um, I've had a lot, a lot of compliments on it. So that's that one right there. Um, I'm really, really happy that I was able to snag it. And then um, the last one I got was already in their collection. It's a satin lipstick. Um, this is called Cyber. And this is this more... Um, Urban Legend was more of their, you know, dark cranberry. Cyber is definitely a very bold lipstick, but it's got your deep purples that you really want for um, fall and for, you know, real cold winter months and things like that, which I see myself definitely wearing. So I will swatch that for you. And then that is Cyber right here. It's gorgeous, so pretty. And, um,. I have not worn this yet, but I am definitely going to for sure. Um, I think it's going to be, I think these two, um, Urban Legend, or Living Legend and Cyber are going to be um, some of my uh, two top lipsticks that I'm going to be definitely wearing um, for this uh, colder weather that we're having. And it did snow, so we have snow on the ground, so it's officially 
very close to winter but yeah so that was um my mac haul i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll talk to you later bye